How gratifying is a performance like this, given what was at stake, being at home in front of the fans, the game plan, and the execution? Yeah, no, I thought uh, it all kind of aligned. I thought the game plan was good. I thought uh, our guys executed, especially defensively. Um, you know, now, you know, there is a little, uh, uh, you know, they're coming on a back-to-back. -back. It's late in the season. You know, I think we had we had a lot of juice. You know, we had, we had more juice than them. They've been playing great, great basketball, so... Uh, not to take anything away from our guys, but uh, I think our energy level was was really high. You knew it was going to be a collective effort on Blake Griffin and Drummond, but for Blake to be one for ten and to Rody to have the effect on the game that he did, how do you look at that match? Yeah, I, I think denying him, you know, we wanted to limit Blake's touches. That was that was part of the game plan. I thought Rody uh, did a great job executing that. Obviously, the steals. We didn't tell him to steal so many of them. You know, we just said, you know, deny him, make him work. Uh, he's got a great, uh, you know, Rody's got a great sense of anticipation, how to get in passing lanes. I think that really, you know, threw off their timing, uh, his activity. Coach, you talked about pregame, the idea that you're a little bit ahead of schedule. Um, what's it, talk, can you talk about the levels of winning in the NBA, right? Sort of winning early in the season versus now winning games that really matter and then, you know, ultimately what winning playoff games are like? Yeah, I mean, I kind of, you know, they all count as one win, right? It doesn't, I don't really think about when it, when it happens in the season. Um, I don't want to get carried away here, right? We're, we're still, you know, a little over 500 and, and uh, you know, listen, you look at this road trip and, and, and the games we have, uh, I'm not sure we're favored in, in many of them, <laughs> quite honestly. Uh, so uh, we, we know we got a difficult task. We know we're, you know, average, you know, in that area. We're not, we're not uh, celebrating here. I think, uh, um, you know, despite despite having a good win tonight. Kenny, if, if you leave aside the the win or the loss, right? You, you're talking in terms of things like Rody making those steals, not just denying the ball, and as part of an overall defensive effort, I wonder whether this redefined what you think the ceiling can be for this team defensively in a given game performance wise. What, what I what I do see is Rody surprising us. You know, you know, you worry about uh, you know the girth and strength at that position. You know, when you have Blake Griffin and and John Collins, and you look at the fours in this league, especially the teams that play bigger, you worry about that. But you know, w what surprised me is how his you know kind of Rody's activity has kind of made up for that you know lack of strength, quite honestly. And he's and you know part of the reason we wanted to move him to the four, and I thought because he, he rebounds the ball well. I don't know how he had tonight but he can he can rebound his position um, so uh, I, I think that's we might have stumbled on that that that's 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 gonna help us uh, uh, become a better team at that that key position at the four uh, and and you know conversely on offense he spreads the defense out and and we can he's like a guard he's a six nine six nine and a half guard so it's it's a it's a funky you know funky matchup for for other teams to, to match him it seemed like t tonight the, the defense was more into the players, not just the ball handlers, but denying. Is that was that just for this team, or was that something you've been looking for all year? No, long? I think that was part of the game plan. I, th I think again, when you know a team's coming on a, a, off a back to back, we knew our activity had to be at a high level. Uh, um, and you know, we got Jared Allen back there. He's kind of our, you know, safety net. And so when we did deny, and they, they got a few back doors on us, but he was there to clean stuff up. Um, and then you know. Uh, I, I thought we did a good job rebounding too. You know, Drummond, Drummond had I don't know how many rebounds against us in the first two games. I think we controlled him, but uh, yes, the activity was something we we asked of our guys tonight. Uh, Coach, you kind of alluded to it, but you're going up against Drummond and Blake Griffin. You out rebounded them as a team. You outscored them in the paint by 30 points. That's got to be a surprise, right? Yeah, I believe. You know, I. I Yes, and I, I just think that's where our energy level was, and we had an advantage, you know, it's a schedule advantage, there's no doubt about it. Uh, I don't think they were uh, uh, at their peak physically, but listen, you still got to do it, right? You still got to go out there and, and uh, you know, they were they were still charging and drumming was there, but I, I like we were swar it was swarm as gang rebounding, you know, it was like five guys every time, even if we didn't get it, we were around there, and, and we, we struggled with that all season, so it was good to, good to see that we, we showed some improvement tonight. And putting you on the spot a little bit, what what would be a successful road trip for you? 
That's, man, Stefan, that's a, that's a tough question. Um, I don't want to give you an answer. I just want to keep, 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 keep getting better. I, I know that's a weak answer, but uh, uh, when I start doing the schedule and counting wins or losses, that's when I get in trouble. Coach? Um, yes. I guess coming into tonight, this was about as close to a playoff game, playoff mm -hmm. atmosphere that you've had since you've gotten here and sure. for years before that. Talk a little bit about the atmosphere and really how you guys aced, aced it tonight. That's a, you know, a good question. I think, uh, I, I'm, uh, you know, our guys attacked it. Like sometimes, you know, when you're not used to these, these uh, kind of big games, quote unquote, that you, you might be on your heels a little, but I, I felt like we were the more aggressive team. And, uh, you know, that kind of says, well, we weren't afraid of the moment, that's for sure. So I liked how we attacked it. I, I liked how we, we were the more aggressive team. Uh, um, definitely, you know, a um, um, good sign for us if, if we have more of these big games in the future. Kenny, just, you know, jumping off of the energy issue, right? For as long as you've been the coach here, opposing coaches have come in and talked about you guys playing with energy. And it hasn't always been enough to win the big games when other teams come in with that energy. Do you feel like if you guys bring that now, you're at a point talent-wise, scheme-wise, where you have a chance to compete with anyone? Good question. Uh, you know, I, I think the energy where we, we usually bring the energy, we usually bring the juice. I think that's, that's a characteristic of this team. I think where we've made a, a strides is we're, we're a smarter basketball team. I think uh, we, we make better decisions. Uh, uh, we understand our defensive schemes better, uh, but but uh, I I think that you know you can't just have the energy and the competitive spirit. It's got to be both. So I think you know you have both of those aligned, and and we play. And I thought we played smart basketball tonight on on both ends, and I think that gives you a chance to beat beat the really good teams. Uh, now in a seven game series, that's that's something maybe you know, we'll talk about down the line. But on on one night, you you can do it. Thank you. Thanks everybody.